UTM is unmanned traffic management, and what that really means is it's the digitization of the air traffic services that have been provided through voice and paper means over the last 30 to 50 years. If we're looking at a future where anyone can go and order a flying taxi ride or a delivery by drone to their house, instead of having 100 aircraft over a city at a time, we're gonna have thousands. And without something such as UTM to coordinate and ensure that's safe, it's not gonna get off the ground. Air traffic management has been very stable for the past 50 years. You have an air traffic controller speaking to a pilot in an airplane. This simply just doesn't work when we integrate autonomous vehicles like drones or air taxis. We're going to need to figure out how to communicate from machine to machine. The key technologies in every UTM will be around communication, navigation, surveillance, also the new concepts of Internet of Things. The UTM ecosystem has many different stakeholders, from the regulators, to the aircraft manufacturers, to the air navigation service providers, to policymakers, to the pilots that are flying these, these aircraft today, and the operators that will be flying some of the, the future aircraft. The first step to achieving clarity in what are the standards and regulations for autonomous systems is that we need to get everybody together and sharing and open and on the same page. We need collaboration across the industry because this problem is bigger than any one company. The entire aviation industry focuses around taking small steps first, which is very important. By getting small applications in place, we make valuable learnings, we gain a lot of information, we gain feedback, we gain economic information and viability, and all of that will boil together to produce an even better next iteration as we scale up the services, have more aircraft, and have them do more complicated things. So it's a really exciting time for the industry. It's really just kicking off. We've done a lot of the R&D, but right now is when real UTM services are starting to be implemented. The system we put in place today and over the next few years will be the system that's in place for decades to come, and it will affect the next generation of people using the air traffic control system.